Hi guys, hello, my name is Mariola and welcome to my channel. It's so nice to be here again. I have another short and sweet video for you and it's very much related to the previous one. So if you haven't seen that, go ahead and watch it after this one. Again, it's about outfit combinations, outfit formulas, but this time I'm talking about colors. There are so many colors in fashion industry that I won't be talking about today because I am a neutral color lover. It's funny because I have quite cheerful and bubbly personality, but I love to surround myself with a very calm, very neutral, very earthy colors. It's both in my wardrobe and in my house. So um, I love very Scandi slash uh, Japanese style. Again, both in my wardrobe and in my house. I will show you my favorite color combinations that I wear, I love and always work in summer. So these uh, combos together with outfit formulas from my previous video will give you so much ideas and inspiration, I hope, to create new outfits, even just from the simplest items, just like I have simple shirts, trousers, skirts, dresses, but it's all about how we put these colors together. Today I will only focus on neutral, classic, timeless colors such as white, black, beige, navy, blue, anything else I missed? And it's crazy because it's just five colors, but you can create so many beautiful, timeless, very chic combinations that will give you countless ideas to style your clothes. I only wanted to say a few words to men watching this video because I know there are some. These color combinations are amazing both for women and for men. And I know because I can see uh, the same color repetition in my husband's uh, wardrobe and to be honest I could take his clothes and make very similar combinations so it's very easy to adapt to any wardrobe to any style uh, direction whether you're more classic sporty boho when you're more casual or you like your outfits very dressy I also get a lot of inspiration from men's fashion so you can do that too with our outfits so let's start, because I can't wait, with combination number one, which is just one color and it's all white. We are drawn to light colors in summer and that's understandable. And so that's why we wear so much more white, but I feel like all white from head to toe feels like too much and it's almost too sterile. So what I like to do, and maybe because I have so much contrast in me, because I have very dark hair, and quite fair skin, or very fair skin, if I wear all white, because I'm gonna be very honest with you, it's not my most favorite color combination, but if I wear it, I like to add uh, some accessories to it, and it would be always either black or tan, or maybe beige. <laughs> so I actually love white jeans with white shirt or white t-shirt, and uh, with it I would always wear a black belt, black shoes, or maybe just black belt and black bag, just to kind of tie it in together. But tan, brown, beige, all the shades of brown, whichever works for you, for your skin, work beautifully because it's darker, but it's not too much contrast. It gives it a very beautiful balance, very natural. And I feel like there is some point of interest. Otherwise it's just white. And the other way of styling white that I find very practical because you'll see, I'm all about practicality. I love practical and easy outfits. So the other way I find white being more practical to me is if I wear white shorts instead of trousers or white skirt, I don't have white skirt, but uh, yeah, something shorter to show some skin. And again, same with top. So maybe white linen shirt with it. Uh, I roll up my sleeves, I open the buttons as much as I can, as much as I feel comfortable. And of course then you can see my skin, I add some necklace, some bracelets, watch. I feel like that adds a lot, a lot of interest to the whole outfit. So if an all white outfit is too much for you, there is still a way to wear white 
and quite a lot of white with little change just by adding beige to it these colors really complement each other they work so well because they're both very light with white and beige you can still create a tonal outfit but with some dimension and when i say beige it's uh, not just your sandy a very light beige you can of course go for tan cognac brown or any other shade that you uh, have in your wardrobe you don't have to buy anything if you already have a dark brown belt why not if you pay a beautiful linen uh, white dress with a beige blazer or beige bag beige sandals or a bucket hat a beautiful uh, straw hat it will look really feminine and beautiful and very chic and timeless but on the other side of the spectrum, you can go for denim jeans, white jeans with beige uh, shirt or beige blazer again. Uh, again, we are re-wearing our clothes. Just put all your white and all your beige things together and try to mix and match. I'm sure you will find so many combinations that you want to wear. Something about beige that is both classic and chic and can be very casual. There is a reason why all safari looks are made up pretty much 100% of beige clothes. So they're light enough to work with the sun, but they don't get too dirty as white would. That's why this color combination works really well. If you're a mother, you're going to a playground, you're going to the zoo. This is actually my favorite zoo outfit. I feel very put together, uh, but also I'm not worried that I'm gonna get dirty somewhere. I'm sure I will anyway. <laughs> It doesn't show the dirt as much, basically. <laughs> Next one up is nature's most beautiful combination ever, in my opinion. Just imagine blue sky and white fluffy clouds. This is just so beautiful, isn't it? It's very clean and neat, but it's still very practical. It's very easy to put together. You don't really need much here because there is some contrast and to me, I don't really need to worry about accessories here. Gold or silver jewelry works amazing with white and blue. Very simple. White jeans or white denim shorts and blue shirt. Any shirt, oversized, more fitted, short sleeve, long sleeve. Uh, it's beautiful and just turn it the other way around and you have so many more outfit um, combinations. I actually just recently got an amazing pair of Levi's vintage shorts and I love them. Not very much silky shorts because they're quite short but I know they're gonna be my go-to holiday shorts and I already told my daughter that she's gonna get them when she's older. <laughs> For everyone who loves contrast like I do, a match made in heaven is gonna be white and black. Wait, white and black. <laughs> yeah, this is my favorite combination. Uh, I think I have few but this is my top. <laughs> White and black, black and white, are so classic together. They're so clean and so crisp. Maybe because black gives this frame to a white canvas. I don't know, it just works. And it works in summer. I wear black and white for any occasion, anytime, especially when I have a day when I don't know what to wear and I feel like I really don't want to think about my outfit but I want to still look put together. Uh, so I would just pick probably my black trousers and white t-shirt, white vest, white linen shirt, same goes for black skirt, black shorts and so on and so on and so on. There are so many combinations you can create, you can go the other way around black top and white shorts, white trousers, white denim jeans. So I wear black and white outfits when I want to look very elegant and chic. Um, for example, when I go to the theatre or opera with my husband. But equally, when it's just a very casual day and I want to look good, I really don't like to wear jogging. Wear joggers? <laughs> I really don't like to wear joggers or anything too casual. So. To me, the most comfortable and casual outfit would still be a pair of black trousers and white top, white t-shirt. 
and especially that this combination is such a great um, base for anything that you want to add. You can, if you like color, you can add really awesome colorful blazer on top of it. You can wear some funky shoes with it and it's not going to be boring. I think black and white is never boring. Plus, uh, you can match it with either gold or uh, silver jewelry. Next one up is all black outfit. And I know this is very controversial because some people love it, like me, and some people don't because it's too much, especially in summer, if you live in hot uh, climate, it may be hard to wear an all black outfit. But if you can and you love black, I highly recommend wearing it in summer instead of winter. It's so much easier to wear it in summer because we can show so much more skin, uh, we can show our uh, slim uh, wrists, ankles, our collarbones and we can spice it up with jewelry. So it's really so much easier and much more chic than just like, you know, a black tertian leg, black trousers and black hat in, in winter. But uh, very much like with white, I would just pair it with something, either accessories. So for example, like, I don't know if you can see, like I'm wearing black belt with a gold buckle. So I would do something as simple as that. I would add whatever jewelry you wear. And of course, if it still feels too black, I would definitely add um, beige or tan accessories like shoes and bag that will definitely lighten up and uh, brighten up uh, the outfit and it will make you feel a little bit more summery. I read the comments and I know many of you don't like black and I would say navy does pretty much the same job as black. And the first color I love wearing with navy is simple white. We all know stripes are usually white and navy and that's very nautical, very Parisian. Navy feels very vintage to me. It feels more more classy in a vintage way and black is more modern. Let me know if you feel the same way about these two colors. Navy and white is again very clean, very, um, very fresh. In my wardrobe I wear it more casually. It's never gonna be very casual uh, but I like uh, for example my pleated navy skirt with a white shirt or the same skirt with my striped uh, t-shirt or maybe trousers, navy trousers with white shirt, white t-shirt. I feel like I'm, I'm just gonna say the same outfit I mentioned with white and black, but um, that's how it works. White and navy I love a company of uh, tan or very dark brown colors. So I would wear them with my uh, tan slippers, with my brown bag, and I have this vintage men's purse. I think it's a purse. It's like a very small crossbody bag that I got in one of our charity shops. And this is a very vintage color as well. Very warm, not my color, but I still wear it with this kind of outfit. And it looks amazing with white and navy. I feel like navy is mostly used in men's wardrobe. Uh, and maybe that's why I feel it's so classy and vintage. And because of that, there are so many uh, vintage and not vintage, just men's uh, blazers, secondhand, that you can buy in your thrift shop, your vintage shops, something oversized, something to wear with your whites, both in summer and winter. And you can achieve this classy, chic, but not so feminine look that I personally very much love. And what's best color to pair navy with than blue? Blue is just a lighter shade of navy and they're in the same family so they just naturally go together. That's very interesting because I just realized that I usually wear my blues and navies in a form of either shirts or blazers. So very much menswear inspired. Because they are quite masculine, I like to pair them with something feminine. So I love the combination of my blue shirt and my navy pleated skirt. This is a really great combo if you don't like to look too feminine, but you still like to wear skirts and dresses. Just pair your girly, cute pieces with something sporty or something more masculine, and that will give you that very nonchalant, I just put it together <laughs> effect. When you think about blue and navy together, don't forget about your light wash jeans. 
this is something that can be easily forgotten because it's denim. Denim is pretty much a neutral color to us. But you would pair your blue shirt uh, with denim jeans or denim shorts. Or you could wear your blue denim jacket with white t-shirt and navy trousers. That's an amazing combination. It's very classy and chic, but it's still very casual. Uh, you can just go to the shops like that, you can go to cinema and if you don't wear blue, maybe give it a go. It's very versatile and it can be very feminine but also very classy, chic. Above all, it's very easy to put together with all your basic colours. It's so much easier than your pinks and reds. While I'm on the subject of blue, I really have to mention this combination that I discovered very recently. And it's blue with black. This is something I didn't think of before and I don't know why. These two colors look so beautiful together and so chic. In my last video where I was styling black for summer, I found this photo on Pinterest of a girl wearing all black outfit with a blue overshirt and it really hit me how great it looked. Actually, I think she was wearing navy and I just paired it with black and now I find it so easy and actually so many more combinations come to my head like black shirt and blue uh, denim shorts my black summer dresses with my uh, vintage Levi's uh, jacket again there are so many combinations you can try definitely give it a go because these two colors are great together the last color combination that I have prepared for you today is definitely my most worn next to black and white and my second favorite and it's black and beige it can be black and beige very light beige can be tan uh, warm cool Again, you choose uh, whatever suits your skin, whatever suits your personality, your lifestyle and your wardrobe in general. These two colors really work because there is still contrast between them, but it's not so harsh well, like with black and white. But beige provides this beautiful uh, lightness to black and it adds definitely a summer vibe. With these two colors, I personally like to limit the outfit to just two or maybe a few different shades of beige and black because I feel like they have uh, the biggest impact on us when they just together and nothing else maybe with some white. So I also love my all black outfits paired with a beige element, this statement piece. So for example, black tank top, um, linen trousers and beige blazer. I really love the simplicity of the outfit. You can definitely see that it was so easy to put together, but it looks so wow. <laughs> Another way I like wearing my black and beige is uh, with just a simple black trousers and beige shirt or black dress and again beige blazer. I feel like these two colors look so beautiful together that you don't need anything extra with it. They just make the whole outfit. The combination itself is so beautiful. You can only enhance it with a gold jewelry and some accessories, but you really don't need to try too hard with these two colors. So these are my color combinations that I prepared for you today. I'm sure I missed some that I wear sometimes, but I just wanted to focus on things that I really wear on repeat and the combinations that help me be more creative with my wardrobe instead of wanting to buy new things. And I'm hoping the same for you, that after watching that video, you will be so full of ideas that you will go to your wardrobe, mix and match some pieces that maybe you didn't think of before. So that's it uh, for today. Thank you for your comments, for your likes. And don't forget to subscribe now if you like the content of this channel and you would like to see more from me. And see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.